Scorpio, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for late July 2023. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know, I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business, as always, and start you off with an oracle card here, just so we could dip our toes in energy and see what's going on for the lovely Scorpio Collective. I hope you're all doing fabulous, my friends. Let's see what we got here. My guides, talk to us. What do you got for Scorpio Gang this week? Yeah, we're going to take a real quick look at this first card, then we'll get into the full reading itself. And at the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot, just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean into, which is always interesting. So let's get it going here. Let's rock. No delay. What do we got for Scorpio, please? In the early portion. There we go. So we got Ariel showing up here right on the front end. That's a, an interesting one. I don't remember the last time I've seen this energy show up for Scorpio. Okay, not a bad thing, not by any stretch of the imagination, just a little different than what I usually say to lead us off here for the Scorpios. But before we fully dive into that, it's a beautiful energy. I'll be speaking about the July subscriber surprise towards the end, so you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button, but it's happening right on its third eye, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo into the reading. I know Scorpio gang always takes care of me. We got each other's back. Into the reading we go. So if you look at the imagery of this card, you see that we have Ariel. I call her that. Maybe it's not literally the Little Mermaid. But notice that she has her head in the clouds above the water. To me, this is a big card of the future. So for a lot of Scorpios, you could have your you know, eyes to the horizon, eyes to where you want to be. Because notice she is surrounded by all this natural beauty. There's good things around her. Not that it's bad surroundings, but she's just more concerned about where she's going and where she's heading, what she wants to do. So there's a big future focus here for a lot of Scorpios when I see this card. There's also that daydreamy type of vibe as well, which is water sign type of energy. Okay, so aside from the beauty, the aesthetics, and all the other things I spoke about, Scorpios might just be, might just be getting a little trapped in the head in this time. We're daydreaming, stuff like that. You know I'm part of the collective myself, so... We're prone to do that from time to time, just like all other water signs. We have very rich imaginations, but that could really be spilling out in this time in some form or fashion. I always recommend expressing yourself through creation in some sort of way, whether it's art or getting that energy out, bring it out of the etheric into the, into the material. Let's get into tarot. I always say the first card doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a footnote. Let's get these cards going. I'll get you three in the upright before we get the intuitive juiciness flowing. So let's shuffle it up. What do we got for Scorpio here, my guides? And while we get this deck ready, let's talk about last week's different flavor than normal. And the reading was titled, They Are Too Much. Now, I was getting the vibe in last week's reading of somebody that was being a little difficult, okay? Or somebody that you just felt or might be feeling like, all right, they're just doing the damn most or they're a little much here. And whether it's the way they're acting or just some aspect about them is a little overbearing. That's the vibe I was picking up last week. But let's see what shows up this week. You know, it's a dice roll every week. Okay, we'll get you three cards now. What do we got for Scorpio? Yes, energy is very fluid, never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you. Because we could be seeing your vibe or someone you're linked to. All right, let's get these cards out. <clears throat> Enough yapping here. What do we got for Scorpio? Thank you. Okay. Lovers in position number one, interesting. Doesn't mean this has to be a romantic style reading, but that is a big part of your personal connections, one-on-one -on -one connections, and it is a powerful energy regardless. Okay, temperate, super angelic energy here. Scorpio, front and center. Let's get one more. And as you see, both of these cards are extremely angelic. Okay, I feel like there's going to be more beneath the surface of this reading than just the front end meeting, meaning, ah, meanings, pardon me. But we have the Knight of Pentacles here on the back end, a card of communication and talking. And I'm already getting intuitive feelings here, Scorpio, about this. Like, Spirit could be really trying to commune with you in various different ways. But let's go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes, then we'll get that juicy intuitive stuff. Super interesting vibe this week, Scorpio. And the clarifiers are really going to be juicy. But at first look, first glance, we're starting off with two extremely powerful major arcana. Both of them are very angelic. But one thing I'm seeing here on the back end, these are slow, slow, slow moving energies on the back. But let's go through one by one. Hopefully that's not slowness that is really 
frustrating you. Maybe you're putting something to a stop. Maybe you're slowing something down. That could absolutely be it. But position number one, we have lovers. This could just represent a Gemini you're connected to. If you're not connected to a Gemini, back in the day, this card used to be called the choice. So it's like a decision. Do I go left? Do I go right? What choice do I make? But generally, this card gets a lot of importance in love readings, obviously, because it's called the lovers. But when I see it, I think of interpersonal connections of all types, someone that we share a soul connection with, all right? Now, that could be romantic, but it could just be someone that's a kindred spirit when we see this card. So when we clarify it, it could be telling us about someone you are very closely linked to when this card shows up. <clears throat> For some Scorpios, it could just simply be romantic things as well. But one thing I also have to mention, since we've been getting this angelic theme thus far, is this is the Archangel Raphael depicted in the Lover's card. That is the Archangel of Healing. All right, so whether it's healing wounds from connections or whether it's healing oneself, these are very, very powerful and protective energies we're picking up here. And I would claim these angelic energies because I don't normally start a reading off with two angelic energies. Now, moving over to the second position, we have temperance. This could just represent a Sagittarius you're connected to. When I see temperance, I think of patience. So maybe spirit is asking you to be patient with something, slow something down. Aside from that, like there could be delays when this card shows up. Someone could be thinking, 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 planning, analyzing when this card shows up. But another thing with this card, a deeper meaning, is that there's an alchemical energy to this card. Notice we have Archangel Michael, the protector, the warrior. Seems calm and serene here, mixing those cups, mixing that water, creating something. So when I see this card, it's also a card of creation. But we got Raphael, we got Michael, the healer and the warrior. So these are interesting energies that we're starting off with, Scorpio. So we're going to place Archangel Michael right here for the time being. But like I was saying, if it is something that's connected to patience, the next card up is the Knight of Pentacles, very slow moving. Okay, so I'm hoping that you're not dealing with some delays or something's a little stuck in the mug. For a portion of you, this could just represent an earth sign that you're connected to. When I see Knights in Tarot, I think of forward momentum and progress. Slowest one right here. Slow as molasses. So hopefully you're not having frustrations or issues or problems because I tend to think of that sometimes with this card. But another thing with this knight, similar to the pages, they're all communicators as well, but this one in particular, the way he is delivering this pentacle, I feel like this could be a conversation or a talk of some kind that we will want to clarify and see what's up. But in conjunction with the rest of the stuff we got going on here, Scorpio, all this angelic energy, a lot of you could be very, very much open to subtle energies in this time and connection to spirit, okay, and communication from spirit. So... I want to dive deeper on all of it. Let's jump in and clarify. <clears throat> okay, let's get a good shuffle here for the Scorpios. My guides, what do we got for Scorpio, please? And yes, my friends, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot. Because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on them lovers. See what this possible soul connection could be about. And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages you want to give to Scorpio, you can drop it down below. Okay, so let's go. Why are the lovers here? Thank you. Five of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this could be someone who wants peace. This could be someone that may want to apologize. This could be someone who is sorry. Okay, this could be someone who wants forgiveness. That's a huge vibe I'm picking up, but does that mean that this person's energies and feelings and what they're putting forth is absolutely true? I can't tell you that, but we have the Five of Swords in reverse. The roughest side of this card is it can be very much conflict-based, right? It could be a selfish card as well. So when I get it in reverse, I do get someone who's being a little more caring, trying to like put down the swords and stop fighting. But the one thing with this card that always sticks out to me, it's a card that does link to narcissists. So just watch out, especially if you have past connections with narcissistic individuals, like it's showing up here front and center. But a big vibe I'm picking up is that of an apology, whether it is someone who wants to say sorry, who wants to apologize, like that's just the vibe I'm picking up right here, or someone that just wants to make peace. 
Now, romantically or in your interpersonal connections, if things have been tough, if things have been up and down, there could be a lot of peace coming in with those that are you're closest to. There could be a lot of healing in your interpersonal connections as well, especially with Raphael. So just know that. For some of you, you could have lots of big improvements with those that you are soul connected with in this time if you're open up to it. But I am getting this apologetic. Okay, Does that mean someone possibly made a mistake? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see how it goes throughout the rest of the reading. But let's go in on, um, on temperance. I feel like somebody wants to stop battling. They don't want to fight. They don't want to fight. So let's see why temperance is here. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We got the six of wands in reverse here underneath temperance. Someone might feel like they took a loss or they took an L of some sort. There's a feeling of regret. That's just what I'm picking up here. And then maybe it took a while for this individual to realize it. Maybe it took a while for this person to realize like how they may have messed up. Could absolutely, I'm picking up the vibe here, Scorpio, of somebody that you're connected to possibly misjudging something, miscalculating something, making a mistake, making the wrong judgment call. And they, they know damn well that they did. And that hence the apologetic energy we're picking up in the front end. But when I see the six of wands, another thing I got to give you here, generally this is a card of victory and getting public notoriety and stuff like that. This is one of my other cards that connect with narcissistic individuals when it's in the upright, because this is a card of the ego. This is someone who wants attention. So when I see it in reverse underneath temperance, like maybe it is someone that like pulled back for a while or they got out of the limelight, but I am getting so much stuff here. Okay, now it's up to you in whatever situations you're going through, but I'm getting that apologetic, that miscalculated, someone feels like they took a loss or made a mistake. Let's keep moving. Let's see what's up with that Knight of Pentacles. I don't feel like I have to overcomplicate this, Scorpio. Super interesting. And <clears throat> I was hoping for more energy about the Scorpio Collective because, you know, I want to see what's going on with us. I feel like this energy is for, not for all, but for a lot of the individuals around us. So let's see why that Knight of Pentacles is here. Then we'll do our recap before the shadow card. Interesting stuff, my friends. Thank you. Okay, yeah, Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords in the upright underneath this nine Knight of Pentacles. Card of stress, anxiety, nervousness, losing sleep. So it ties in exactly with what we saw throughout here. This could be someone who is extremely on edge. This could be someone is, yeah, the feelings of regret. All the things that I was speaking about are showing up here. And maybe this individual wants to communicate that. Now, for a portion of you, if you have been very much high strung in this time or on edge, this could be a good sign. This could be spirit saying like, okay, it's going to get better slowly, but surely just, it's okay. okay. Just take a breath. You'll get through it. But when I get this underneath that Knight of Pentacles, like maybe this is someone venting to you as well. Like if not, if it's not this same person here, there could be somebody that really is going to like really vent something on to you or have some sort of emotional talk with you. That's just the vibe I'm getting. But if you are connected, especially to an earth sign, like this person could be very much like going through one here. Okay. Just like all the other stuff we were picking up, but yeah, I'm getting a lot of different things here for a portion of you. I wouldn't be surprised if various people come to you and try to lean on your shoulder for something or vent to you or ask for advice or whatever it might be. Like I'm picking that up. But let's go through and do a quick recap here, Scorpio. Then we'll get into the shadow card. If you kindly look in the box, super interesting, very angelic and protective the way it started out for us, but interesting stuff. Now, in position number one, we have the lovers with the five of swords. We have different astrological signs showing up here. We got Gemini, we got earth signs, we got Sagis. But the lovers with the five of swords in reverse is someone that wants peace. They don't want to fight about something. Um, they just want to get along. And they want to put the swords down here. And it, to me, it does feel like someone might approach you with an apology of some sort. Or they're feeling remorseful. And I was picking it up in very heavily here, right? in the front end, like someone could be very sorry, or you might be getting an apology of some sort. Moving to the center, we have the protective Archangel Michael on temperance with the six of wands in reverse. Someone feels like they may have taken a loss, made a mistake, made a misjudgment, miscalculation, and they know it. 
right? Like this person knows it. But a big thing here on the, bo on the bottom is like, those are two of my cards of narcissists. So watch out for anyone that's very ego inflated or loves attention. Moving to the back end, we have the Knight of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords in the upright. Someone really stressing something out. So whether it's connected to this or whether it's something separate, I feel like a lot of you need to know there's someone that is really going through one nervous, the whole nine, like I was saying. But for another portion of you, I did feel that this could be somebody that uses you as a shoulder to lean on or asks you to help them solve an issue. So please take a screenshot, Scorpio. Let's get you a shadow card. Definitely different than what I was expecting, my friends, but let's see what we got here. Got to read them how they fall, right? But what, what's up with Scorpio? What's in the shadows for my friends? And yes, I always like to pull the shadow card at the very end. I'm sure you know that. It's a favorite of the Scorpios. Okay, so whether it's something within yourself, maybe it's something you don't quite see. I feel like it's very introspective when we pull this shadow card. So what do we got? Who are my Scorpios in the shadows? Okay, yeah, interesting stuff here. So we have a card that is extremely in-depth as a shadow card. It does have some warnings that we might have to attend to. But when the magician shows up as a shadow card, it could be really several different things. One, spirit could be asking you to watch what you focus on and know that thoughts become things. Um, you don't want to bring things to you that you don't want to experience or go through. So watch what you focus on, specifically hyper-focus on. The magician could also represent people that are doing things ritually or magic. So don't dabble in anything that's dark in the realm of energy work. Or there might be someone you're connected to that might be dabbling in that realm, like spell work, magic work, stuff like that. And they might not really know what they're doing when this card shows up here in the center. But another thing I have to mention with the magician, it's a card of control. Okay, so whether it's you just needing to hear, hey, you can't control everything that happens to you. Life is a roller coaster sometimes. We got to take it as it comes. Or if this is representing a person in your life that is a control freak and that wants to control everything you do, that could be a big warning here. But just watch the manifesting and the spiritual stuff, Scorpio. And yes, that's what I have for you this week. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details of the July subscriber surprise. If you got your name in for the June subscriber surprise, the winners will be announced in my community tab after this week's Fire and Air Signs readings. But for July, I'll be giving away two copies of the Everyday Witches Tarot. Once again, one of my favorite decks and one of the first ones I ever gave away on this channel. So if you'd like to get your name in for this, two simple things as always, my friends. First, you must be subscribed, which I'm sure you already are. And second, let me know down in the comments out of all the tarot suits, which one has your favorite art style? Is it the swords, wands, pentacles, cups, even the major arcana? You'll be entered to win. And at the end of July, I'll put the winners in my community tab. As always, my friends, much love. And I'll see you soon.